with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a brand new sml movie this video dropped last night and it is called sml movie president marvin and i'm gonna just say this right off rip by the thumbnail marvin does not look like a convincing president at all he looks scared as hell to even be in that position so we're gonna dive right into this and check it out before we do so if you guys can follow all the links in the description down below i would greatly appreciate that and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel of course that way you do not miss any of the uploads on the channel and without further ado let's dive right into president marvin but i'm gonna say uh lebron james is my president let's get it hey daddy Jeff, you're making a, a random man. stack of hey, hay daddy. <laughs> i get it hey daddy oh yeah well i gotta jump Run. <laughs> Marvin didn't even laugh at it. He didn't even laugh at it with Rose type on. shit. What does a gay horse eat? Dick. What? what? Eat? Hey, yo. Hey. Oh, I guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Just get this off the couch. Let's, let's watch the news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Okay. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, <laughs> the Democrats are still looking for their nominee for the 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. So if you think you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh, wow. They Fun fact. I'm 30 years old, guys, and I have never once in my life voted. Ever. I've never voted one time. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have ever voted or maybe if you have not. And maybe if you're older than me and have not voted. Still need someone else to run for I don't care about it. I don't give a fuck about politics. No, Jeffy. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. They control it and they do whatever they want to do anyway. Our opinion doesn't matter. I'm fucking pities if you ran for president because then I could tell everybody that my daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't say country like that. What? Hey, if your dad was president, shit. Say that's two words. Say that's one word. It's country. I've always ever said a country. Jeffy, just stop saying it. Hey, Danny, it sounds like they're saying point. country. Country. Tree grows tree. Female country. What? Country. Oh, <laughs> the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. Why? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. So go get it. Two he said suck up all this hay. Hey, hey, yo. What? Who is she? <laughs> like, like, you know, like a, that's what she said. Like, like a girl has said that before. Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, what's her name? But no, no, no girl has said it to me. It was a joke. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. So you lied? It's a joke. A joke is not a lie. I mean, it's not a truth. Thing. <laughs> this is why Marvin can't be president. <laughs> let, me, let me see who that is. Hello, I'm Marvin. Oh, good man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what this is about. So what's it about? I need you to run for president. But me? Why me? Because I am in a shithole of tax debt right now. I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years, and I'm actively being audited. They're already seizing my office offshore bank accounts. So I need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt. Well, why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself? I don't want to run for president because <laughs> I don't want to have to live four years in the White House. Ew, poor. My house is way better than the White House. Not to mention the president. I wouldn't want to live in the White House either, to be honest. I'm going to drive my Lamborghinis. Ew, poor. And also, the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm going to be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money. And that's where Marvin is already failing at this job. He has no confidence. Zero. I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and I'll support your campaign. Super pack as fuck. Are you sure I have what it takes? Yes. You like ice cream? Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. Okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. <laughs> that suit look big as hell. <laughs> the tie off, unorthodox. <laughs> yeah, he is. And I've already. And he still got his clothes on under there. Dollars. So now you're the Democratic nominee. I am. Yeah. So now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even gonna say? I don't know. Just answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Goodman is not thinking this through. This is Marvin we're talking about. Marvin. Where Donald Trump will be debating new Democratic presidential candidate, Marvin Marvin. That's the skinniest Donald Trump I've ever seen. Marvin Marvin. All right, candidates, I'm going to ask you some questions and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing I would do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors, and I would cut right across the U.S. Mexico border, and I would push Mexico. <laughs> 
Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country in the world. And Mexico would be a Make America great again! Face that. <laughs> you know how them Trump supporters be, y'all. Taco Bell jobs here. It's Taco Bell the great American cuisine. Filled the bellies of many Americans. All right, Marvin, same question for you. What would you do to secure the border? Uh, the, the border... Um, I've been on a cruise to Mexico. Are, are they not allowed to take a cruise here? Like, can they not visit America? By, what's the problem? <laughs> I, I don't even know what he's saying, and quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's saying either. Mexicans are stealing <laughs> our jobs. Mr. Trump, please. Okay, okay, this is this is this is hectic. Okay, so we got we got to chill. We got to chill. We can't say too much because you know what I mean. Allow like, him to finish his answer. Oh no, that was that was that was my answer. I am black and Mexican, the, by the way. I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, next question, Marvin. <laughs> how would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer twenty four hours, and so if I was <laughs> low-key, that, that, that is true. Because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay, Mr. Trump, how would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm going to do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the border. Then the next thing I'm going to do for more jobs is I'm going to hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are going to sit on the border. And what they're going to do is they're going to watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great, big, beautiful country. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service agents. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service agent trainers. And a new Secret Service director. <laughs> And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm going to hire more workers <laughs> to create more ear bandages. And then in all our hospitals, we're going to have more ear doctors. They're going to be great. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be handsome. And then we're going to have more dome builders for my Marvin for president. I'm not even listening to anything Donald Trump has to say. <laughs> all right. Final question. <laughs> Mr. Trump, what would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me right in my beautiful ear. The doctors even were astonished of how much it bled. They said my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. And that's what astonished <laughs> me. You could cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, this, <laughs> this is how he talks though, oh God. More than any other body part that anyone has. Uh, but with that being said, I think babies should have guns. I think when you're born, they should put a gun in the baby's hands. Look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't condone. I don't. I don't. I don't support that. 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 That argument because I mean, the school shooters are white. <laughs> they're y'all. You feel me? Like they're they're y'all. You like like like. Y'all don't have to wake up with this every day, okay? Y'all don't gotta wake up with this every day. With this already, we had a disadvantage. You feel me? So I don't like that. <laughs> but that's just me, Marvin for president. Guns are loud and scary and kill people. And I, I don't think, I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice. I mean, to protect yourself. I don't, I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15. Big and the military needs that. I don't know why you oh, that. So, I don't I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy <laughs> right here is a loser. I'm a winner. I bet he doesn't even know how to golf. What what's your handicap? Oh, I'm I'm not handicapped. I'm 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 good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think he—I he, think he's faking it sometimes, but I, I'm okay. I bet he can't even hit par on a par four. I—I I can par four. Man. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, <laughs> but I think Trump did better. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election, so I recommend playing more golf. Well, Marvin, I think you did great, and also I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good Thanks. afternoon, Mr. Marvin. <laughs> Not the men in white, men, yeah, Secret I Service mean, agents. Earl. This is Agent Gad. This boy look like Paul oh, from uh, from Tekken. Oh, that's so I know that'll make y'all laugh. Paul from Tekken, bro. We protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down. Oh, oh, get, what? Me down. get out of there, you Russian bastard. <laughs> I'm hungry. What? I'm hungry. Oh, I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some science. 
tonight. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. <laughs> he needs food. Food. All right, I cannot live like I this. I got the sack. We good? We're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay, move, 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 move. <laughs> We're good. Oh, these chicken gelatos look good. Move, 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 move. Stop. Wait, who are you guys? We're Secret Service agents for Mr. Marvin. Marvin, you're running for president? I am. Oh, that's hard. Wait, what are you cooking? Oh, chicken enchiladas. Looks good, right? It looks like shit. Hey! Mr. Marvin, for your safety, I have to recommend that you not eat these. You're going to get some kind of deadly diarrhea. I recommend we go somewhere safe with a roof, like Applebee's. I concur. I mean, we can go to Applebee's. <laughs> I concur. Get this set. Are we ready to move? We're ready to move. Are we good? We're good. Move, 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 move. <laughs> I would much rather eat Applebee's okay, than, uh, Marvin, than, um, well, than uh, Chef Pee Pee's Agent chicken enchiladas no. anyway. <laughs> Make sure you get rid of any knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. You gotta use spoons only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her! Get her. Who are you? I'm the waitress! Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here! We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Just to be safe. I think we should probably get um one of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think girl. Are you going to pay this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential candidate. Of course we're going to use campaign money to pay. Okay. All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. All right, here's all the food. Oh, it's <laughs> so good. I, I mean, poisoned. I'm bringing the check before you can run away. Uh, what do you think you're doing, Marvin? I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poison before you can eat it. I say we check the drinks first. Good idea, Agent Earl. Hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. <laughs> All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken wonton tacos? Or maybe the chicken Alfredo? Or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders? Or maybe the kid's cheese pizza? Just don't touch my bird. His burger. All right, Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? Ready. Are we ready? We're ready. <laughs> oh, that was definitely not poison. Nah. -uh. Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I going to eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two french fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going to pay? <laughs> pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. All right, that's it. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Marvin! Oh, this yeah, bitch went oh, crazy. Oh, we are so fired. Yeah. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry you got shot, buddy. <laughs> we couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the gun and you jumped out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. Oh, bro. Your job is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, it, well, cause your job is to, to die for me if you have to. Okay, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think I, but your job is to protect me. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, a human life is a human life. Why should I die for you? That's not fair. Oh, okay, listen, you're not good to be a Secret Service agent. Oh, I don't want to be fucking oh, shot. I don't want to do this job. <laughs> Maybe I think I'm gonna I don't want to get shot. You know what this job? People try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I announce Yeah, I, can, I could not live like Twitter, this ever. Twitter. I think you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. Who's at the door? Uh oh. Hello, Marvin. Oh, God. What do you want, Trump? Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. <laughs> loser. Loser. The hugest loser this country's ever seen. All right. Well, I thought you'd be happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. <laughs> build the wall, build the wall, build the wall, you. Build the wall huge and build it really tall across the Mexico border. Goodbye, fucker. <laughs> oh, President Trump! He's been blasted the other year. <laughs> I knew Marvin would get tired of this too quickly. I feel like if anybody, no, 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 I can't, I can't put it in the hands of Junior. Who do I think should be president? And if who, if anybody was president in SML, who do you guys think would be president? Like I told y'all, my president of the United States is LeBron, Captain America. Okay, y'all seen how he was holding the flag for the U.S. Olympics 2024. But we're gonna get up out of here. If you guys would like to follow all the links in the description, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the continued support. It truly means a lot. And that does it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one baby we are out
Peace.